Good morning and welcome to uh, Saturday, March the 14th. We are getting ready for the new heat installation now. So um, I'll just give you a quick view of what's going on. Our very messy kitchen at the moment. We have the Jacko board is down, as you can see, ready for underfloor heating. We have the extra Jacko board waiting to go on in here. We have a quick walk through into the dining room. We've got our mixing station. And then this is where the last of the jacker board is now being put down in the lounge to create um, an insulated and secure area for the underfloor heating to go on to. So this is where the new heat low pro max is gonna be installed. So we've just got, as you can see, a couple more panels to put in. Uh, these have all been sealed, ready for the new heat castellated panels to go on top of. Once they're in, we, we can then run all the pipe work as needed to uh, set the underfloor heating for the lounge in here. And then we can um, start um, pouring out the self-leveling compound. So in here you can see there's um, 115 bags, I think it is, of self-leveling compound. So 58 of those are gonna be mixed up and poured on here to create one nice solid floor all the way through. And then we can start placing towels on. So the stage we're at, at the moment, we're just going through the rest of the prep work. So um, we're installing this barrier. Um, that comes all as part of the new heat, heat kit. And you can see mum and dad are working on this at the moment in the hallway. And this is what stops the, um, the uh, self-leveling compound from pouring out uh, underneath the castellated panels um, and uh, keeps all the self-leveling compound in place. So uh, we've got another day of prep work um, to do in here and um, start running those pipes water pressure test and then hopefully tomorrow we can pour all of the self-leveling compound and have the lounge and hallway done and then we can move everything around and get the kitchen uh, kitchen downstairs shower room utility room and dining room all done so big weekend ahead and um, hopefully some nice progress by the end of it morning it's uh, Sunday the 15th of March we've had a really good day yesterday setting up the castellated panels for the lounge and hallway so I'm just going to give you a quick update and if we spin round we can see that we now have this lovely Lego flooring all the way through the hallway and mass Lego flooring in the lounge um, it's very cool to finally see these rooms have a single floor color on a single level, all lovely and flat. Um, yeah, really, really, really chuffed. So um, setting up the pipes, pressure test, and hopefully doing some pouring. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed by the end of the day, we should have a nice finished floor.
evening. It's um, good evening. It's the evening of um, Sunday, the fifteenth of March. Uh, I normally try and be coherent in these videos, but I'll be honest, this has been one of the longest days I've done pretty much ever. So um, the apologies if I'm a little bit all over the place. But we have, after a couple of snags, equipment breaking, and all those sorts of things, we have successfully poured the um, lounge and hallway reason I'm outside is because you can actually see a floor now from the outside so I thought I'd start off out here if I spin round you can see we have a floor now it's drying which is why you can see there's some wet patches and some not but look at that level and we finally have a proper finished floor level ready for tiles so if we head on into the house you can see what we've been up to. So this has been a, a four-person job um, with Ali mixing, my mum fetching all the correct ratios of water, tearing bags and counting bags, um, me putting the powder into the buckets and then lifting and pouring the buckets, and dad using the spiky roller to spread. And you can see now the lounge is poured. You see it's dry, dry down the end there and it's just a little bit wet in the middle and then if we come through we can see also the hallway is done already. Once this is done, all we need to do is put on the decoupling membrane and you can see the manifold in there all set up. So, um, so yeah, we just need decoupling membrane and then the tiles can go straight on and we will have a single floor level through the whole bottom downstairs of the house and um, it's huge because once that's done the heating can go on skirting architrave doors kitchen can be fitted in here and shower room can be fitted and we can move in so it has been the, just the most stressful day ever today we had uh, we burnt through two drills a massive shout out to Toby for lending me his drill a long time ago and I still haven't given it back to him because that was the third drill that, that came through for us um, and enabled us to carry on mixing and um, to Glenn for popping over when one of our paddles snapped uh, the paddles that we used to make, mix up the mixture and without the two of them we would have been absolutely screwed today so huge thanks to friends and family as always for helping get us through this and uh, I mean, the place looks like an absolute bomb site at the moment, as you can see, but this time next week, it won't. It's going to look really good. We're going to have a single finished floor level through the whole thing. And then by the weekend after that, we're going to have a fully tiled house and we should also have heating on that week as well. So monstrously excited about everything that's happened here today. Um, I am now going to go home and have a very hot bath and quite a lot of Guinness. <laughs> 